Hi, good evening. Hello, how are you? Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Como están ahora? Fine. Oh, fine. Terminando la plataforma. Finishing the platform. <laughs> oh, you finished already. Ya terminó o está terminando? Ya el examen casi terminando. Oh, excellent. That's nice. Wonderful. Yo sí, ya te... terminé. Excellent. Y ya eh, descargó el certificado. Sí. Okay, perfect. That's nice. So remember ya that it's... Ficha. Ya. Ya me mandaron la ficha. Ah, okay, excelente. Sí, porque es importante que tengan todo resuelto ya para esta semana. Eh, porque todavía en diciembre va a estar el, 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 ¿cómo se llama? El trámite. Ya tienen que quedar como precalificados para el próximo año. Entonces, aunque terminamos la clase es el jueves, eh, pero administración va a seguir trabajando en su proceso para el próximo año, para que empiecen su tercer módulo en enero. So, hay que estar pendiente de la fecha, ¿verdad? Pero sí, en enero ustedes seguirían. So, van a tener sus días de descanso en diciembre, pero ya te, tienen que te hacerlo del papeleo en esos días. No se les va a olvidar. Porque si no meten los papeles, se les va a tocar esperar bastante. So, that's why it is important. Ok. Uh, so, creo que esos serán todos los anuncios parroquiales before class. So we're going to go ahead with the topics for today. Okay, so yesterday we were practicing the WH questions in simple present, right? Sí. Teníamos dos conversaciones por completar. So, no recuerdo si hicimos esta. No. No, right? Ahí es justo donde terminamos, ¿verdad? So what we have to do here is to complete the conversation with a WH word. Tenemos que completar con una WH word or phrase. So tenemos que leer para más o menos tratar de eh, ubicar que, que WH word es la que estaría completando esa conversación. Like for example here it says, um, I watch sports on TV on weekends. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite. Then I have another question. Tengo otra pregunta. Do you usually watch soccer? Y la respuesta dice on Sunday afternoon. Entonces, ¿cuál es la palabra que falta aquí? Si la respuesta fue eh, los domingos por la tarde. ¿Qué when, me when? when. When do you usually watch Soccer on Sunday afternoon. And do you usually watch it at home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big TV. So, ¿cuál es la palabra que falta aquí? Where. Where. Okay, vamos a ver si estamos en lo correcto. Okay, excellent. La primera era when y la segunda where. Espero que no me hayan hecho trampa porque varios ya tienen la presentación. Así que espero que no estén viendo la respuesta. <laughs> so, that's nice. So, let's practice pronunciation. Let's repeat. I watch sports on TV every weekend. Really? What sports do you like to watch? Soccer. It's my favorite. When do you usually watch soccer? On Sundays afternoon. And where do you usually watch it? At home? No, at my friend's house. He has a really big TV. Okay, let us complete the next exercise. Vamos a pasar al segundo. Van a hacer lo mismo. 
traten de hacerlo ahí individual en su cuadernito. Les voy a dar un par de minutitos para que vean que solo completen ahí lo que iría. Okay, ready? So what is the first um, word that we should use to complete that question? How often? How often do you go bike riding? Okay, excellent. Oh, what about once a month? I love to go bike riding. I go every Saturday. Really? What is the answer there? When? When? When did you go? When do you go? What time? Or oh, what time? Okay, ah, ambas opciones time? son, ajá, uh -huh, ambas podrían ser. Si usted usa when do you go, it's correct. Most likely you would have to use what time. That is uh, la primera opción, what time. It's correct. Second option, when. Ambas se pueden usar in that order. Okay, the next one. Oh, yeah. Do you usually go with? This is my Who? sister. Who? Excellent. So let's see in the complete structure here. Okay, so as you can see, aquí podrían usar ambas. What time? Oh. When, and that's correct. So let us practice when. pronunciation. Let's repeat. How often do you go bike riding? How often did you go bike riding? Oh, about once a month. Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Saturday. I love to go bike riding. I go very every Saturday. Really? What time do you go? Really? What time when did you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah? Who do you usually go with? Oh yeah? Who do you usually go with? My sister. Come with us next time. My sister. Come with you use next time okay very good so let us practice this uh remember here it's bike riding let's repeat bike riding y esta también a veces se complica come with us with us so you have to join it put it together come with us next time Okay, podría, podría repetir la pronunciación de la segunda línea del diálogo. De esta, oh, about, about once a month. Once a month, también es como unirla, once a month. Oh, about once a month. Excellent. Oh, about once a month. Oh, about once a month. Yes. Any other word or phrase that you would like me to repeat? Okay, so that means that you're ready to practice in groups. So I'm going to ask you to take a picture or a screenshot of this conversation because we're going to practice it in groups. Ready? 
ready with the picture or the screenshot? Yes. Yes. Cool. So I'm going to create the section so you can practice in group with your classmates. I think it's three sections are going to be okay. All right. Can you miss here? Si quiere, yo y usted. Okay. How often do you go by reading? Oh, about once a month. I love I love to go by reading. I go every day, every Saturday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah? Who do you usually go with? My sister. Come with you next time. Thanks. Okay, very good. Just remember it's bike riding. Let's repeat, bike riding. Bike, bike riding. Excellent. Bike, bike riding. riding. Bike and then riding. in the last and la última is uh, come with us. With us. Come with us. Excellent. Come, come with, with us. us. Uh -huh. Come with us. Mm -hmm. Very good. Continue practicing. Ya somos cuatro. Si usa usted con dos y Mm -hmm. How how often do you do you go by riding? Oh, about about once a month. I love you to buy riding. I go every Saturday. Really? Got time? When do you go? Usually about one at o'clock. Oh yeah, you usually go with. My sister come with you next time. I remember that the last one and the ultima is come with us. Come, come with, with us. us. Uh huh. Come with mm -hmm. us next time. Come with us next time. Okay. Inicio yo, Marta. Okay. Bye. How often do you do you go by reading? Hey, remember riding, bike riding. Ah, perdón. <laughs> How okay. often do you go by riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Saturday. Really? What time? When do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. Who who do you usually go with? My sister can we use next time? Come with us. As per <laughs> Yeah, I know it's difficult. As Come with us. Okay. With, Come us. with us. Next uh -huh. Excellent. Thanks. Okay. Vaya. Uh, Ahora empiezo yo. Okay. Con quién? Con la misma Con que. Uh -huh. Okay. How often do you go bike riding? Conmigo, verdad? Sí. sí con Evelyn. Alvarado. Sí. Ya se me perdió la imagen. Uh, oh, about once a month. 
I love to go. I love to go by riding. I go every Saturday. Oh, really? What time? What do you? When do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. Who do you usually go, go with? My sister come with us next time. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. Vaya. Este, ahora nosotras, Berenice. Half <laughs> next time. Sí, igual se me complica cuando van esas palabras juntas. Uh -huh. Which one? ¿Cuál es? La lengua la trajo. Ah, la última. La pronunciación with de us. la última. With us. Uh -huh. Come with us. Yeah, just repeat. Solo repeat. With us. Come with us. Excellent. Come with, Come with us, us next time. Next time. Excellent. Solo repita. No lo piense tanto. Hágalo otra vez. Come with us next time. Come with us. Come next with us time. next time. Perfect. Next Excellent. Time. Continue practicing. Come with us next time. Very good. Now complete the comp uh, um, practice the complete conversation. Yes. Okay, and yes. I know it's, it's, uh, sometimes it's boring. A veces se aburre uno con esta repite y repite, but that is, <laughs> de eso se trata, de, de repetirlo. So you can, uh, para que mejoren. Yes. So you can do it one more time. Okay, I see that everybody's here in the main section again, so we're going to continue with the next exercise. Well, in this case, you're going to read the answer and write the questions. Este ejercicio, so, me gustaría que lo hagan en grupo. Eh, tienen que leer la respuesta y basándose en la respuesta tienen que escribir ustedes la pregunta. Son básicamente las preguntas que hemos estado practicando desde ayer en la conversación, en the grammar focus. So, um, so I'm going to, uh, lo voy a poner en grupo otra vez para que discutan cómo formularían la pregunta. Por ejemplo, en la primera dice, la respuesta es, me gustan mucho los deportes. Me gustan muchos deportes, pero realmente me encanta o amo el voleibol. Entonces, si yo estoy hablando de qué deportes me gustan, ¿cuál fue la pregunta? Esa. ¿Qué deportes te gustan? What sports do you like? So, eso es lo que tienen que ir haciendo. Leer la respuesta y ustedes hacer la pregunta. So, los voy a poner en grupo. Solo tomen una captura o una foto al, al ejercicio para que lo puedan hacer en su cuaderno y discutan en grupo cómo iría la pregunta. Basándose siempre, acuérdense en la estructura y dándole una respuesta, una pregunta. Ahora tienen que darle una pregunta a la respuesta. Ok, ¿ready? Ready. Ok, les voy a poner en grupo para que puedan discutir. Um, ¿Cómo serían las? Quiero, 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 quiero volver a crear. Vamos a hacer... Para poder escucharlos a todos. 
Okay, so there you go. A ver, ¿cuántos somos? Somos seis, ¿verdad? Sí. Sí, seis. Okay. What is for do you like? I like a lot. La segunda respuesta es, I usually play with my sister and some friends. Ah, uh, who? Who, ajá, uh -huh, porque está preguntando con quién. Mm -hmm. When. When, usually, when usually. Who do? Yeah. Who do? Who do? Whoever, that. Yes, it's who. What do you play sports? Mesteria. Hello, volleyball. Who usually? Con quien usualmente juegas? Porque estás contestando con 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 el o adverbio sea, ajá con el adverbio o sea yo no veo bueno sí creo que se podría hacer pero creo que más para respuesta el usually ajá pero podría ser el usually o juego play w h o verdad U. Who, yes. who, ¿Qué sería? Who do you, who, who do you play volleyball with? Es lo que puse ya. Who you play. Es uh, with whom también. Cuando nosotros practicamos los sábados, sería ahí cuando, ¿verdad? When, ¿verdad? When. When, when. Do, when do you practice when do you where start we start no no la 3 es where where do you practice when when when, when. 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 Uh -huh. Cuando? When do you practice? We Otra. start about now. Nosotros. When do you Nosotros practice? empezamos. Estar que nos estrella. No, start con la T al final. Empezar. Es empezar. Es empezar. Ajá, nosotros es empezamos. Como comenzar. What como alrededor, what? alrededor del mediodía. Sería, what time do you start? Uh -huh, uh -huh. What time? What, what time? time? Do you start? Y ahí es como en el otro ejemplo or... del ejercicio pasado, se puede también utilizar when. When do you start? We usually play. Nosotros usualmente estamos. Sí, podría ser, pero creo que sonaría extraño en una conversación real. 
que estarían dos cuen. ¿En cuál? En... en la de la... En la última, when. When en la penúltima. Sería. No, lo que Pero... pasa es que en el ejercicio pasado se daba esa opción, ¿verdad? Del what time o del when. No sé si estoy equivocada. Pero en la última donde dice we... we Yo creo, creo que when... Creo que se utilizaría más cuando se refiere como a días de la semana. Y como en la, eso es hablando de tiempo. Un tiempo. Que es como, uh -huh. no, creo que es como medianoche o algo así. Creo que entonces sí sería como más what time. what time. Y el when, creo que se utilizaría más cuando se refiere a qué días de la semana. Uh -huh. La última ya es del lugar. Ajá, where. Y en la última. Where do where? you play? Where do you play? Porque está preguntando del lugar. Where? Yes. Ajá, We usually play. Jugamos en el. En nuestro patio. Patio. Yard, yard creo que es patio, vea. Sí, R es nuestro. Es el positivo. Luego la otra sería. Who do you do you play? play? Do you who do play? Who should you play with? Ajá. Y la siguiente sería. Where do you practice? Where do you practice? Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. We practice on Saturdays. Uh -huh. Y la siguiente sería, what time do you start? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We start at about noon. Y la siguiente, where do you play? We usually uh -huh. play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. The beach. Yes. Sí, verdad, bye. Ok, la voy a enumerar porque si no me voy a equivocar. Ok. ¿Y lo íbamos a practicar? No. No, hasta que lo vean, vean que estemos seguras que está correcto todo. Supongamos. Confianza, sí. compañera, confianza. ¿Cómo de que no? Diga? No, o sea... No, si yo confío en usted, no confíes en mi, en mi habilidad. <risa> <risa> ok. Bueno, entonces, lo practicamos. Sí, okay, me vamos, parece. Entonces, que empiece un ICE. A vaya. ¿Quieren que lo haga todo o cómo? Ajá, en parejas que lo hagamos. Vaya, ok. Entonces usted me va a ayudar. Okay, we're missing just two, Jennifer and Kenya, so we're going to wait a couple of seconds. Okay, I see that you finished, right? So we're going to check your answers. 
What was the answer in this space? What is the question here? What was the question here? ¿Cuál era la pregunta acá? Who do you usually play with? Who do you usually play with? Excellent. And in the next space? When do you practice? When do you practice? Yes. Excellent. And what comes next? What time do you start? What time do you start? What time do you start? Yes, that's it. Uh, and the last one? Where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? Sí, puede ser. Where do you play? Y le pueden agregar el frequency al profile. That's okay. So, as you can see here, and we can practice pronunciation as well. What sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. Who do you play with? I usually play with my sister and some friends. I usually play with my sister and, and some friends. Some friend. When do you practice? When do you practice? When do you practice? We practice on Saturdays. We, we practice, we on, practice Saturday. on Saturday. What time do you start? What time, what do, you time start? do you start? We start at about noon. We start, we start at, at about noon. noon. Where do you play? Where do you play? Where do you play? We usually play in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. We usually, we usually play, play in, play in our, our yard, yard, but sometimes, but sometimes we, play we play at the beach. At the beach. Okay, any question about this exercise? Do you have any question about this exercise? No question. No, all no, right. No, no question. So we're going to continue with this topic. It's about the pronunciation of the auxiliary verb can, can't. I don't know if you, so I know that some of you already saw that video because we are, most of you have already finished the platform. Some of you are sure that you already watch it. But what I want to mention about this is that este es un verbo auxiliar, el can. Eh, ¿Para qué se usa el can? Sé que ya muchos lo vieron en la plataforma. Para yo puedo. Actividades que se pueden o no. Ok, para hablar de cosas que se pueden o que no se pueden hacer, hablando de habilidades. ¿verdad? Habilidades. ¿Para qué más? Habilidades y para actividades. Uh -huh. Sí, el, este verbo auxiliar tiene eh, la función de, uh, bueno, se puede expresar habilidad, posibilidad y permiso. Right? So esas son las tres funciones de este verbo auxiliar. Se le llama verbo auxiliar. Si ustedes se fijan, eh, va acompañado de otro verbo a la par que regularmente, bueno, en el presente simple no utilizamos dos verbos juntos en la misma oración. Si sí nos auxiliamos del do en el caso de las oraciones negativas y de las preguntas, ese es otro verbo auxiliar, el do. Y lo estuvimos utilizando en el presente simple, so, este es otro tema. Siempre en el presente, solo que aquí vamos a estar utilizando el verbo auxiliar can, porque vamos a estar hablando o expresando habilidades, posibilidades, right? Y también sirve para expresar per permiso, right? Eh, no sé si les queda más o menos claro o quisieran que me explique mejor o que les provea de ejemplos. De yes, ejemplos. Okay, so let's provide some examples. Okay. Como lo vamos a estar viendo en la plataforma es para hablar sobre 
um, habilidades, ¿verdad? Cosas que podemos hacer. Um, por ejemplo, podríamos decir, I can cook. I can cook really well. No sé, siempre tengo esta maña de poner, I can cook really, really well. Okay, so I am expressing an ability. Estoy expresando una habilidad. I can cook really well. Okay. Uh, expressing a possibility, uh, probably I can say, um, I can be there. Otra cosa, I can be. Cuando vayan a usar el verbo ser o estar, se va a poner sin conjugarse. Porque no es necesario conjugar verbos si se... Um, ay, como les digo, cuando hay un verbo auxiliar antes... El verbo que le sigue no se conjuga, ¿ok? Aquí se van a olvidar de toda aquella complicación que teníamos con la tercera persona, que póngale S, e, S y que si el verbo to be, no, eso no sucede aquí. Uh, tampoco se conjuga el verbo to be, se deja en su forma simple. No, muy tarde. <laughs> At. Si llegamos a la tierra, vamos a ir solo a despedir a la gente. Okay, so I can be at the party at 8 o'clock. Okay, so yo te estoy expresando que una posibilidad. Puedo estar ahí a las 8 de la noche, right? O a las 8 en punto. Puedo estar en la fiesta a las 8. Se está expresando una posibilidad. Es posible que yo esté ahí a esa hora. Y si se fijan, el verbo cero estar no lo conjugué en tu am, is, are. Es lo que les decía, ¿verdad? Si es tercera persona, igual yo puedo decir Mauricio, Berenice, Marta, y no voy a cambiar el verbo. Yo can say María. Ay, Dios, se me fueron dos. María. Can uh, cook. Ahí ya no le vamos a poner la S como estábamos haciendo anteriormente al verbo cook, ¿verdad? Ya no, eso no se hace cuando se están utilizando verbos auxiliares. ¿o? Este tema va a ser mucho más simple. Naria can cook well. Ok, so, uh, para expresar o para pedir permiso, normalmente pedimos permiso con una pregunta, ¿verdad? So, uh, one way can be, cuando usted necesita ir al baño, lo puede hacer así, can I go? Can I go to the, to the toilet? Can I go to the toilet? Ay, oh Dios, está con toilet. Can I go to the toilet? Right? So you are asking for permission, está pidiendo permiso. Can I go to the toilet? Uh, ¿Puedo llamarte? Can I call you? Estamos pidiendo permiso, ¿verdad? Can I call you? So that's, um, and one other thing that I want to mention is that uh, you use uh, the same auxiliary when you are answering. So if you answer this, this is a yes, no question, right? Can I go to the toilet? Most likely you will receive a yes as an answer. Yes, you can. Vamos a usar siempre el mismo auxiliar, right? If it is negative, you say no, you can't. So you rarely gonna get this answer, no, you can't in this type of question. Okay, so you use the same auxiliary. So Vámonos para atrás, right? Cuando ustedes estaban viendo el verbo to be, am, um, is, are, en la respuesta también utilizaban, ¿verdad? Um, y, is your mother a singer? Yes, she is. Is your father a mechanic? No, he is not. So you're using the same, right? Estamos con el do, 
contestábamos con el do o con el doesn't, right? Con el que fuera el auxiliar. So, si usamos again, vamos a comenzar a contestar con quién, como ven aquí, right? Can I go to the toilet? Yes, you can. Can I call you? Yes, you can. Or, no, you can. Right. Um, if it is a WH question, it's basically, también hay WH questions con este tema, pero es super simple, solo le antepone una WH word or phrase. Uh, si le pregunto, ¿a qué hora te puedo llamar? Solo le ponemos a what time. What time can I call you? And that's a WH question. Oh, you can call me at 10, right? That's just as an example. Uh, ¿Les quedó más o menos claro? Yes. Okay, so it's, this is very simple. Es bastante simple. Es el tema que vamos a estar practicando. So, uh, we're going to, vamos a ver el video de pronunciación. Ahí se nos da un par de tips bien importantes. Este tema, es este auxiliar a veces es un poquito difícil de distinguir si es afirmativo o negativo. But here in the video, you will get a couple of tips. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced, can, as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is, when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. Okay, so what were the tips? ¿Cuáles fueron los tips en pronunciación? ¿Cómo uh, hacer una diferenciación if it is affirmative or negative? Bueno, uno de los tips que dio para hablar en negativo es alargar la N. Ajá, uh -huh. alargar la N. So in affirmative you say can't and then can't, right? If it is negative, can't. Sí, tienen que alargar un poquito la N para que se entienda bien que es negativo, right? Eso es un poquito difícil con este auxiliar because the pronunciation is very similar in affirmative and negative. Okay, and then we're going to practice, vamos a practicar una conversación donde se nos habla, donde se usa esta estructura y también pues vamos a ver cómo se formulan las, las Oraciones y preguntas utilizando this auxiliary. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure. Why not? Okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. 
I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic, or something special. Singing is something that only a few people can do, and most people can't. In my case, I can't sing at all. Let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can. To do this, we can follow this formula. Subject plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Now the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that, we have the verb sing. Uh, finally, we have a complement. Let's analyze one more example. She can't sing at all. The subject is she. Then we're going to add can't. After that, we have the verb sing. Finally, we can include a complement at all. Now let's learn how to form questions using can. To do this, we can follow this formula. The auxiliary can plus subject plus the verb plus a complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples to make sure we understand this topic. Can you sing? First, we need to add the auxiliary can. After that, we include the subject. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark. Finally, we can include a complement. In these examples, there is no complement, but we could add something like at home. These are yes or no questions. So the way to answer this type of questions is quite simple. For the question, can you sing, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, I can't. Let's analyze one last example. Can he sing? First, we need the auxiliary verb can. After that, we include the subject he. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark at the end. We can answer positively by saying, yes, he can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, he can't. Now it's your turn to practice using can and can't. I would like for you to talk about your abilities and the abilities of your friends, family, and co-workers. For example, I can play tennis, but I can't play basketball. My co-worker can design websites.
but he can't program. My daughter can play the piano, but she can't sing. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so what did you understand? Was it clear enough? ¿Cómo sienten el tema? ¿Suficientemente claro? ¿Fácil? ¿Está difícil? That's okay. That's okay. Okay, so we're going to analyze the um, conversation and probably we can practice for a couple of minutes. Okay, this is the conversation that we had there. Let us practice pronunciation. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can see it really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh no, I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. All right, do you have any question about uh, any new word or pronunciation? Is everything okay? No questions? Okay, so no hay preguntas. Okay. It's all good with pronunciation, so you're ready to practice in groups. No question, teacher. Okay. Uh, Perdón, creo que necesitan tiempo para tomar la picture. Or the screenshot. Okay, let's practice it in groups. For, I'm going to create one, two. Okay. Okay, there you go. Entonces, soy Kaila y soy Philip. Okay. Oh, look. There is a talent constant on Saturday. Let's enter. I can enter a talent concert. What can I do? You can see very well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too? Uh, oh, no. I can't sing uh, all but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the constant. Sure. Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Ahora Carla. Oh, look, there a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Yo falta, pero no sé quién. Es que creo que ahorita están, ellas están haciendo el diálogo, pero ya con el, el papel de, 
han, han cambiado el papel. <ríe> es decir, ya lo hicieron, ah. creo yo, Ana. No, Vaya, ahora Jennifer Marta y, y Aurora y Jenny. lo están haciendo con. Ah, ok. Ajá. Marta y Jenny. Bien, inicio yo entonces. Ok. Eh, oh, look, there's talent contest o. Contest on Saturday, let's enter. Let's I enter. can enter a talent contest. What can, what can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. What you can do? Oh, no. Oh, no. You can do. Oh, no. I can sing at all. But I can't play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. And two. Oh no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay. Okay, I'm missing a couple of people still. Okay, so, um, todavía faltan unas cuantas personas, pero ya terminamos con la clase de ahora. So, thank you for joining today's sections. I think that tomorrow we're going to finish. Mañana vamos a terminar la sección número cinco y vamos a empezar el repaso. Okay. Okay, okay, teacher. Only two classes more. <laughs> Dos classes more. Yeah. <laughs> and then you will go on vacation. Vacation. <laughs> <laughs> Resistan. Resistan. Ya casi. <laughs> okay. See you tomorrow. Sleep well. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Take care.